and WRPP Studios. So in the 30-something years that I've been doing this, I don't think I've ever had a gentleman or lady on that is in the industry that this gentleman is in. And it's an interesting industry because he's got to be busy as heck at this time. With me is Michael Constantine. Yes, sir. From Prime Masonry. Yep. So, Masonry has a lot of parts to it, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. How long have you been around the industry? I've been doing this about 12 years. Okay. Um, Why'd you get into it? My father, really. My okay. father. Yeah. That, usually, that usually happens. And <clears throat> before we got on the air, you mentioned, I guess, you, did you just have a baby? Uh, no, I, I have a daughter. She's seven. So okay. She's... Are you priming her to get into your industry? Oh, I hope not. I hope <laughs> not. Maybe one day, you know, if I become something later on, then, you know, hand the ropes to her. But yeah. right now. It's she like, said she won't want this. Oh, no. My daughter doesn't want this. She wanted to come here today. Did she? Said, no, no, no. We can't. We can't. <laughs> oh, that's right. They're out of school. <laughs> okay. So it makes it a little more difficult. So you get into this because your dad was in it. Yes, sir. Did he drag you to work when you were a kid? Uh, he did. He did. Um... It was more of, uh, I, I can remember him coming home with the trailers, with the equipment trailers, and me and my brother, we'd swim around in the water drums. <laughs> and he was up, so I can remember back then, but um, as I got older, when I was in high school, I would get out, you know, I got out of school. Um, I started doing my own thing, you know, working with him and whatnot. Um, but we are doing restaurant remodels, you know, I'd learn carpentry work, tile work, things of the sort. Um, and then soon after that, I was a mason tender. I ran my apprenticeship for uh, Charlie Haggis with Haggis Masonry, and uh, one of the you know smartest guys I know, um, and uh, it was a pleasure working with him. But then I went to a um, um, a larger commercial outfit. I worked for Oceanside Masonry, so I was a. And then you decided to go on your own. I finally decided once I had my daughter. I finally <laughs> decided, hey, it's time to you know let's make something here. So, <clears throat> let's define for people they're not that smart like me okay what exactly you do in masonry um masonry is um you know the construction of uh, mortar block brick stone anything's of the sort um you know and what we do is um you know we can construct a whole home i get satisfaction of seeing something the way we built out of a mass of materials you know, <laughs> okay. something that's you know I'm, I'm the guy that drives around hey i built that hey i did this <laughs> you know so well, I get it, because we come in here, and I look, and I said, yeah, that's my camera. Yeah, that's the cameras we bought. Yeah, this is the lighting we did. <laughs> so I get it. We don't drive around to it. It's too hot out there for us. No. Um, so do you build houses? I do. I do. I subcontract a lot of work from general contractors, and I also do a lot of my own work for residential, you know, homeowners. Um, we do stone veneer. I do stucco work. We do uh, concrete. There's a big difference between, you know, a block mason and brick layer right. and a cement mason. So there's, you know, now, I mean, I would have to pour footings and stuff like that, but, you know, it all kind of falls in line. It's so, let me ask you this. So I have a house, and my driveway has a bunch of cracks. Mm -hmm. It's a concrete driveway. Yes, sir. Is that what you work on also? We do work on that. We work on that with the aprons and everything like that. We, okay. We take care of it. So my driveway, it seems like people come on my driveway, and they run over into my beautiful lawn that's on both sides. Do we build like, I guess, if I have a lack of word, like risers, so that they, you know, like almost like a bumpers? You could, you could. You get a strip of spikes and we'll put them out there by the road so they don't pull in your, <laughs> pull in your okay. okay. A lot of the things we do most, we do a lot of stone veneer, stuff like that. If you, you drive around the city, you'll see like the gas stations, wah, wah, whatnot, they have the stone. Right. It's cultured stone. It's not natural. We do both natural stone and you know fake stone, um, but that's a big thing for us. So that's so basically, and you're gonna correct me if I'm wrong. It's almost a covering over something else. To and, give an it existing a look. substrate, yes. Okay, so <clears throat> is it because it's masonry? I guess it's concrete, or is it brick, or is it? Block. It could be concrete. We typically don't um, cover over the existing brick. We would have to remove it and then replace it with, you know, a different material, something like that. But um, yeah, yeah it's mo the substrate's mostly a, a concrete board or something that will adhere as proper adhesion. Oh right, that yeah. would be kind of important. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it's full. Otherwise, it's full. <laughs> Who's your clientele? Ah, uh, you know, right now I get I get a lot of uh, residential clients and. Um, 
and, and the thing is everyone's different no no client is the same as the other one they want different things you know they, they might want something that i don't like personally yeah, well you don't have to yeah yeah exactly <laughs> you know? but um it, it's, it's you know i'd like to keep it residential right now okay so what are some of the things that people ask you for uh we we even come out we do um cleaning seals i'll come out we'll clean up the old masonry um, I have brickwork. We'll come out. We'll um, if you have deteriorating mortar joints, we'll come out and grind that out, retuck point it. Um, you know, we can change the color of the mortar. We can change you know a lot of things, but we'll we'll clean and seal old masonry work. You know, stonework, brickwork, and um, you know reseal it so that you you don't have uh, moisture damage or anything like that later on. We bring bring it back to life. And, you know. I guess you bring it also back to. For lack of a better word, it's original health. Not, not yes, necessarily sir. its original look, but its original health. Yes, sir. Okay. Has the industry changed since you started? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of the things I've noticed. Um, a lot. A lot, actually. Um, but I, like I said, I, I went from, you know, an apprenticeship with a smaller company to working for, you know, a larger company, working on uh, nursing homes. And uh, I worked on a Jupiter Medical Center. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I've I've been around larger scale projects like that too, but I don't think that that's I don't think that's what you want to be your forte. Well, you know I I, I like uh, I do like the smaller I like the smaller uh, things. You know I, to me masonry isn't just a job. You know it's a it's a career to me. It's a, it's an art form. Right. So. I I would definitely see it being an art form, mm -hmm. and probably a bit of a science. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot to it. Um, I guess most of your work is outside. Yes, uh, we do do a lot of interior work. Like fireplaces? Fireplaces, so? yes, sir. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to guess that living in Florida, um, does the weather have an effect on what you do as compared to doing what, basically what you do up in Jersey where your dad was? Is it yeah. different? Yeah, I, I, would, I would assume so. I've never been myself. I was in New York once when I was about 18. I okay. got to see the weather and stuff. But um, I would assume it's a big difference from there. Um, the way they do things up there is different, too. You know, they'll cover up the whole structure, you know, when they build their scaffolding and stuff like that. So it's different here. You know, here's more of the heat, you know. We got a lot yeah. of heat <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of that. And I'm going to guess that you not only have to be able to do that concrete work or the masonry work, I guess at a point you have to either hire out someone to do scaffolding. Or no, I, I we typically take care of everything in house. Oh, do you? We take care of it. Yes, yeah, we don't sub anything out. Um, we're, we're the guys. You call me, I show up, I give you the uh, proposal, and if you hire us, I'm I'm out there on the job. I'm out there with my guys. And yeah. so, you saw changes since you started. What changes do you see in the future for Prime Masonry? For your company in well, general? Well, for my company in general, the, the thing is masonry, I, I think um, the construction industry has a solid, you know, it's not going to go anywhere. No. I don't see it going anywhere. Um, but for me personally, I, I'd like to, uh, you know, branch out and maybe, you know, get a, um, a further work area, you know, so more down south. And okay, where are you, what's your, what's your coverage now? Um, anywhere from Fort Pierce to Palm Beach right now. Okay. And anything further is just a little bit more of a hike. Yeah, so, I would you know, think so. If, if I were to get you know a crew of guys or guys that live down south or you know, a little more up north, we could take care of. I would think. More. Okay, so just tell you the things that I've experienced over the years. When I started, I started in Boca, mm -hmm. and then I opened this one in Port St. Lucie and one in Sun Sunrise Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale at the same exact time. When I had my heart attack, I closed the two south ones and I stayed here. And I was planning on opening in Indian River because I didn't want to go south anymore. I thought the growth would be north. Yeah. And I still think that's the way it is. It just, for health reasons, I chose not to because I'm older than dirt. And I just didn't think it was necessary for me. So would you consider going like north? Oh, yeah. I oh, think yeah. that people from south are moving north. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I can tell you now, and people get mad at me, and I don't mind people being mad at me because I'm old, so it doesn't matter. But the money is in Martin County mm -hmm. and in New River County. Even though St. Lucie County is growing in leaps and bounds, 
The big problem with growing the lease of houses is that its infrastructure is not keeping up, in my opinion. And I live in St. Louis County. Indian River County, I think, is still, because its growth is not as severe as it is here, mm -hmm. it's going to come. And I guess that is new construction um, something that adds to what you do? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. New construction, I stay busy. Okay. So, and, and you know, out here, I mean, even the tradition area oh. is, is huge. It's, right. it's monstrous out there. So, But I think the infrastructure is not keeping up with what what's going on there, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and again, and get off the track of what you do, the traffic is night a nightmare. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay? The traffic is a nightmare. Yeah. Do you do a lot in Martin County? We do. We yeah. Do. Martin County, I do most of my work out of Martin County. Mm -hmm. So if you had to tell me your ideal client, what who would that be? Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Because I, I don't have a, a necessarily an ideal client. Right. I, I, I appreciate all my clientele. Right. Um, even the stubborn ones, even the hard <laughs> ones to deal with. You know, they're, yeah, we know everybody's those. Great. Everybody's yeah. great. But Every entrepreneur knows those, too. Yeah, no. And those we remember. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> those are the ones that never let us forget. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But you know what? Uh, in my line of work, criticism is a, is a good thing. You know, it's, a, it's a very good thing. So. Well, I think... Uh, I guess for everybody. Yeah, yeah, I think if somebody doesn't tell you what's wrong, mm -hmm. then you can never fix it. Exactly. And sometimes people take advantage and complain and they're not complaining they're just giving you constructive criticism mm -hmm. hey this is not the way i wanted it and why would you, you know why would you want something out there that's not what the customer wanted okay mm -hmm. and i'm the same way here exactly. why would i want something out there that reflects us that's not what the customer with me wanted. it's uh, i wouldn't do something to someone's home that i wouldn't do for myself or in my own home so that's how I look at it. That's how I, you know, the guys look at it and they work with me. So. Do you do fireplaces and stuff? Yes, I guess. Sir. I guess that would be a pretty big thing within yes, your within your thing. Um, like, I've seen a lot of houses with fireplaces but no mantles. And yeah, we've seen that. We see, we we actually build the mantles. We started doing that. Later. Right. I would think that that would be ideal. Because it's extra storage space to put more uh, dust collectors. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, all your pictures up there. <laughs> right, yeah. But, yeah, no, we, we've been getting into building the mantles ourselves. Um, a lot of the fireplaces we do are the isokern ventless fireplaces. Um, okay, what is that? Uh, they're, they're units, masonry units made out of volcano pumice. And um, it, it comes pre-made, prefabbed. You just build it, put it together. And then we do the thin brick on the inside, the fire brick. And... Um, you know, so it's, it's nice. You get, you know, pass through fireplaces, you know, stuff like that. That's pretty amazing. We're getting to the top of time. How do people find you? I, I know that we can find you on Facebook. Yes, sir. Do you have a phone number that people can reach you? Yeah, it's 772-985-1368. Okay. And, again, you guys hear this all the time from me, and I, I feel like I'm always repeating myself, but this is another job, in my opinion, that's not a DIY job, okay? I can see... I hate to say it this way, but I can see me doing masonry work and one, it getting all over the place and two, it not being done right. So anything that I might put up vertically is probably going to fall down. Okay. Um, and the reason I say that is because in a simple form, I've done tile work around my counter. Yes, sir. And now some of it's cracked, probably because of the way I put it up. <laughs> and some of it fell off because of the way I put it up. And you, though Gorilla Glue was a help, <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. it's not really the answer. So use a professional. I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Everybody, use a professional. Touch base with him. We'll be right back.